GIS data are referred to as models because they represent actual real-world objects. It's important that they model the real world as accurately as possible. Often GIS data sets will have thousands of features and it can be really challenging to verify the quality of such large data sets by visual means alone. So using topology rules, we can test our data to ensure that it's well constructed and modeling the real world properly. In this task, I'll use the topology checker plugin to investigate the quality of two data sets, the bus routes and bus stops. So here I have QGIS desktop open with the bus routes and the bus stops loaded. I'll be using the topology checker plugin, so I'm going to enable that. I'm going to go to the plugins menu to manage and install. I've already installed this. If you haven't, you would simply go to all and type in topology into the search box, find the plugin, and install it. Here I simply need to check it to enable it, and I'll close the plugin manager. It got um, enabled over here as a small button. You could redock this where you'd like. I'll leave that there for now. And first I'm going to investigate the integrity of the bus stops layer. So I'm going to open up the topology checker, and it opens up as a panel on the right side of my GUI and I'm going to click the configure button to set this topology checker up. This opens the topology rule settings window and here I can set a variety of topology rules. So under current rules I'm going to choose my bus stops. And then I can click the second drop down to see what topological rules are available for point layers. And I'll choose must not have duplicates. This rule will check to make sure there's no stacked points. In other words, a bus stop situated directly over another. This type of error is really difficult to identify without a topology rule. So I'll check Add Rule, and I see the rule listed, and I'll click OK. Now I simply click the Validate All button, and the topology checker finds three duplicate geometries which are listed in the topology checker. Additionally, the duplicated points are highlighted in red on the map. You can see the three locations here that have duplicated stacked points. And note, you can also zoom into an area and just choose the Validate Extent button to test the topology just within the visible extent. To fix these, you'd simply toggle editing, select the duplicate feature by their feature ID, and then delete the duplicate. So now I'll examine the bus routes. I'll click the Configure button again, and I'll select and delete the topology rule for the bus stops. And I'll create a new rule for the bus routes. So I'll choose Bus Routes as the layer, and with the topology rules drop down, I'm going to choose must not have dangles. This will check for endpoints of a line, and you might expect that since these data are only a portion of an urban area and there are bus routes heading off the map, that those dangle endpoints would be identified. However, there shouldn't be any in the middle of the network. So I'll click Add Rule and click OK. And now I'll validate the topology for this rule. The topology checker finds 25 errors of this type. Many are the expected ones at the edge of the map. However, there are several in the middle of the network that would need to be investigated. In the next task, we'll continue to investigate the integrity of the data with additional topology rules.